a rotational head. It's got a little remote control on it. I'm going to be showing you that and some other cool heads, gimbals, camera mounts upcoming in some future videos. So subscribe to the Philip Cochran channel to learn more. And welcome to the Philip Cochran channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps the channel grow. It helps me bring you these great videos that we all love. So today was a little two minute, uh, oh, we're on a different desktop perspective for you today. Um, that's because this was an impromptu video. Um, I thought, well, maybe some folks would be interested in what I'm doing here. And uh, let's film it for everyone. So. The, it's turned out to be a typical little two minute search for the device adapter thing that you needed. Um, and here we are like an hour later, you know, with the tools out and, um, you know, the video camera out and what's going on, Phil? <laughs> what are all these things? So the mission was to find a steel metal ball mount that would go onto this new dolly that would handle a DSLR. Now this is a big DSLR, mirrorless, or sorry, a mirrored DSLR, Canon 7D Mark II, it's very heavy. Um, it's just a medium kind of size lens on it. So um, I have a few of these already, these cheaper ones here, but they're on things already. And I hate to keep moving things around all the time. Um, and I already have them on a couple of dedicated devices like this one here for the overhead clamp. So um, I wanted something that could be dedicated for this so I could just attach the DSLR quickly to it. So it, this little tripod, it's a great little tripod. I've had this for years and it's very, very handy. Um, if you can find one like this, uh, I'd buy it. Um, it's all metal. It has a pretty good uh, lock mechanism to it, but there's no way of removing this off of this tripod without, you know, um, uh, you know, doing some major machine work, right? Um, as far as a new cheap tripod that's on the market now, that would be my top kind of choice for recommendations. Um, it would be probably one of these you've seen these guys around. So the reason being, it folds to a nice little kind of selfie stick with a very nice, you know, pistol, you know, a, a grip handle that you can hold for selfies or for um, uh, vertical use. Um, but the tripod swings out very easy, as you see, is like the handle becomes three legs. It's very wide and very substantial. Even though this is plastic, it's it's quite positive and strong. And I would have no problem trusting my very expensive DSLR on top of this very cheap tripod because it's that strong. I'm really like pushing down on this thing right now. It's very strong and very light. So great for travel use and stuff like that. You know, you just out taking some shots with your camera, you don't know if you need a tripod or not, but you've got this thing in your back pocket and you can just pull it out, set it on the ground, and now you've got a tripod that you can articulate the angle and stuff to very easily and cheap. This came with a light, and I'll show you the light on a different video. It's a very, very powerful um, uh, handheld flashlight. Um, and this is like a little mount for it. So this was just a bonus, but I've seen these for sale anywhere. You know, if you can find them, with something else, and this is a b added bonus to it, then grab it. To buy these ones separate, I've seen them anywhere from like six to fifteen dollars for this same thing listed. So you know, I bought it in a light that's worth that was twenty dollars. The light is worth probably forty dollars because it's an awesome light, and then you get this for free. So anyway, back to the purpose of what I was doing here. So I was looking for a nice steel ball head to be able to put on this for dedicated use. Now I have, oh, seven or eight tripods. Um, some of them have very nice ball heads on them, but they're dedicated to those tripods, you know, and they can be used out in the field and, uh, you know, outside. So I don't want to um, disassemble or, or um, take those apart. So 
I was looking around at a couple of my older ones and nothing really, uh, you know, seemed to suit until I came to this guy. Now this one here, this is just, you know, it's, it's, it's very suiting, I think. This here is one of my very first tripods, okay? I didn't have big heavy cameras like this. I had smaller cameras. Um, this extends very, very long, this tripod. Um, so it can do stand up and stuff use and it's fine for a light camera. It's fine um, As you can see it's it's great well worn. It's missing one of the feet many years ago But I've had this thing for years and it's filmed many things for me It's uh, and and it was a budget tripod. This opt I don't know if this company is still in business or not optics um, So one of the great things for it is it also is it had this great head on it. So it's nothing fancy, but it is steel. And how you loosen it and move it with this little handle thing, it's just really nice. So it's very, very quick to loosen it, turn it, move it, tighten it to reposition the shots, or just to loosen it and, sorry, a piece of the cap came off this. Um, loosen it to reposition it to pan for shots and stuff like that. So um, I've always loved this little tripod because of, you know how great it is and this little head that's on it so but i don't use it anymore because i've got much better things to use outside um so it's just been sitting in storage for a long time so i pulled it out and i unscrewed this from here and sure enough what do we have what looks to be quarter 20 threads that i can screw that right on there. so i've got this turned sideways so it looks weird to you right but this would sit on top of there and then your camera screws into here so this little adapter came with the uh, dolly, and this is 3 8 thread to quarter inch, which is what most of our camera mounts are. It's quarter inch, uh, quarter 20. So it looks like this only screws in like a couple of threads into there. So that is a good indicator that it's metric, folks. So. I think six millimeter and quarter inch are very, very close to the same, but the threads are different, okay? So I've got a tap here, a metal tap, that I'm gonna re-tap this out to the right threads, and I won't even have to driddle it or anything because it'll just follow through the threads. Um, this has got a, I've got a nut pressed onto the end here, so you can use a ratchet to drive these taps to just redo this like that. So then I can screw this adapter onto here. Now you'll see this dolly has, it has three eighths for your bigger size equipment and quarter inch for your smaller size stuff. Obviously it's preferred to use the bigger size for more stability and strength. This is the strongest position on this dolly is right back here on the axle. So I can use the three eighths end here into the dolly and then the other end here into the dolly and now I've got a nice little kind of pan head. So I'm going to drill that or sorry, I'm going to tap this piece out now and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like assembled. I think it's uh, oh, I'm also I've got a nice little piece of foam here that I'm going to uh, cut properly and glue in here because the little foam or rubber piece that's on here went missing years ago and we'll clean it up a little bit and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if the time-lapse thing worked or not, but it was very easy. I just ran the tap into the uh, ball head base and then screwed in the adapter and then we're ready to go. I'm gonna clean it up and cut the foam and attach it to the dolly. Okay, we're all done. It worked out perfect. If you're wondering what that little egg thing in the background is there, I put a phone in so you can see what it does. A rotational head. It's got a little remote control on it. I'm going to be showing you that and some other cool heads, gimbals, camera mounts upcoming in some future videos. So subscribe to the Philip Cochran channel to learn more. So my little head mount thing worked out good. Got some foam in there. Threads work out perfect. 
We've got a couple washers to be able to put on there to tighten it, but you've got this thing to tighten it onto there. We can tighten it onto here. So the great thing about this too is I can mount my camera to this much easier than it was before because having to, with just this piece here on, I have to like screw either the whole base around or the whole camera around to screw them together. So this is much preferred setup. So tighten that up there. Tighten that up there. Put the camera on it. I need to look at that. Screws in nice and tight and positive. Lots of threads going into the camera too, because it put the foam a little bit extra thick. And we are done. And we're all set. Works great too. So now, when I want to change the camera angle, all I've got to do is loosen this thing and I can move the camera all around different posi uh, positions while the dolly's still, you know, traveling on its same trajectory, so to speak, right? Before I could only turn it and I couldn't angle it. So this is a nice improvement. Add some more functionality to this. So that's our show for you today, folks. Love and peace from Canada. And we are YouTube.